Hey, Jim Minton here. Thanks for taking five minutes to listen to this recording. I define financial independence as working because you want to, not because you have to. And that should be the goal of your 401k strategy, is to get to that financial independence point. Now, for a financial advisor like myself, it's, it's usually a better approach to sell you on the pluses of financial independence, like uh, being able to accumulate enough money for that house on the beach where you can sit there and sip that little drink with the umbrella in it. But there's another reason to work on financial independence. What if you aren't blessed to work um, into your 80s or 90s? What if at 60 or 70 the company closes down or your back goes out or you can't work the way that you used to? I know a guy that suddenly passed away at the age of 50. His wife is forever blessed because with the help of a little life insurance, she is financially independent. She can sell her house if she wants to, but not because she has to. She can remarry if she wants to, but not because she has to. She can keep working if she wants to, but not because she has to. So how are you going to get to that financial independence point? Well, my son here uh, was wishing that he had been born into money, and uh, uh, unfortunately that didn't, didn't pan out for him. Uh, you could marry into money, maybe become a professional athlete or invent something. But even then, some of these folks have a little trouble in how they go about managing their money when they get rich quickly. Of course, there's always the lottery. You know, every week someone wins, but it uh, doesn't seem to be me and probably isn't going to be you. Tell you a couple of horse stories here that go along with our topic that uh, a guy was talking to this guy. And it was July 7th, 2007. So it was 777. And, and he had woke up that morning at seven minutes after seven. And he thought, you know, this is this is going to be my lucky day. So he decided to go 77 miles an hour down Route 7 in order to get to the horse track. And he couldn't believe his luck when he arrived there. He looked at the race form, and in the seventh race, the seven horse, Jack Daniels, was 77 to 1 odds to win. So he bet $7,000 on that horse to win. Well, I thought, you know, 77 to 1 odds, 7,000. Did the horse win? No, he replied. He came in seventh. So those get-rich-quick schemes uh, oftentimes don't work out quite the way you uh, expect them to. But another horse story here is a man's riding his horse uh, along the beach, and a man's standing there, and he says, Get down and fill your pockets with sand. Well, the guy kind of rides off for a little bit, thinking this guy's just a little bit crazy. And as he rides by again, the man's just screaming at him, Get down and fill your pockets with sand. And so the guy's like, you know, okay, he's a little off his rocker here, but he got down and he got a little sand to uh, put in his pockets and kind of rode off and forgot about it for a little bit. And the next next morning he thought, you know, I better get that sand out of my pockets. And uh, what he found instead of sand was diamonds. And at that point he was both glad and sad. He was glad that he had taken the sand that he did, but he was sad that he had not taken a great deal more. And that may be for how it is for you when you come to your retirement or financial independence point that you know you'll be glad that you've taken what you you have, but you know you could be sad that you, if you didn't take a, a great deal more. Think think a moment about the game of Monopoly. How you're going to win at that game? You know you just can't go around the board collecting paychecks. Uh, at at some point, you you've got to. You've got to save up some money, and you've got to invest that money in order to win the game. And the 401k can be a way in order to uh, uh, to do that and to, to accumulate money in the real game of life. Now, what you may want to ditch, though, is that pie chart uh, that focuses on the stock market as the way to riches. The uh, stock market's been a tough way to invest over the last 10 years, may continue to be a tough way to uh uh, as 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 we go forward. So it's important that you have to start saving some of those paychecks and the 401k is a is a great way to do that. 
And again, the, the stock market hasn't made it easy, but that's no reason to give up on your financial independence goal and no reason to give up on the 401k. It's still a good place to accumulate money. It comes directly out of your paycheck, has some tax benefits. Uh, it's not easy to spend like when you save the money into a savings account. So it's still a very good way to accumulate money for the long term. If you would like our help in uh, in this process of managing your 401k, you can learn more by going to our timetoretire.com website. There's additional videos there that you can watch. Um, or you can schedule an all-ears meeting. Uh, we've kind of preached at you here in an all-ears meeting. Uh, we give you the opportunity to talk about your goals, your current plan, and then based upon that information, we can look at developing and implementing a plan that's just right for you. So you can give us a call at 423-1313.